Good morning, middle school. It's Thursday, May 7th, 2020. I have an agenda. I'll tell you what's on it. First, we'll talk about Spirit Week and how awesome that was. Second, I'll give you an update on Kahoot. Third, we'll get to update on community service. Fourth, a little talk about coronavirus, COVID-19. Fifth, we'll talk about, actually, I won't even talk about it. I'll just show you Mrs. Riker's recent escapades. And finally, we'll talk about winding down. But before we get to our agenda, today is a very special day. It is my sister's birthday. And since what better way to celebrate her than publish a picture of her in my video instead of sending her a card or any present, which would have been nice, but I didn't. So anyway, here's happy birthday, Meg. Yay, happy birthday, Meg. Anyway, speaking of birthdays, I, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about five more birthdays we have today. I made a really fancy sign to talk about some birthdays. We don't have any in the middle school apparently, but we have siblings and other important family members. So also happy birthday, Will, to your sister. Happy birthday to Nate and Calder Beasley. Happy birthday, you guys. Happy birthday to Chloe's brother, Charlie. And finally, the one and only Stosh Lerner. Happy birthday on May 7th today to all those awesome people. Yay. Let's get to our agenda. One, Spirit Week was last week. <laughs> Why are the days running together for you too? Anyway, um, it was kind of a last minute thing. The upper school started, middle school jumped on the bandwagon, and a lot of you sent in some fun videos with silly hair and lots of things, a lot of blue gold stuff, derby wear. So thanks for the people who sent me those pictures and I hope you saw them on the middle school Instagram account. So thanks for those. Number two, Kahoot. Remember how student life committee members and I made that video? It's like, we're gonna do a Kahoot for the whole school. Well, I should have done a little more digging before I promised that because there are just technological difficulties and security issues that are going to prevent us from having an all school uh, online simultaneous game like that. Bummer. It's a good idea, but it's not gonna work this year. Third, community service. Okay, so the nursing home that we I was working with has tightened its restrictions, of course lately but what we have been given permission to do is mail letters and pictures and cards um, to the nursing home the last email i wrote was asking if there's a specific message that the woman in charge wants her residents to you know read from you guys and so when i hear back from her i will send you an email and provide an address to a nursing home that is local and hopefully some of you will take a few minutes to write a letter or draw a picture and pop it in the mail to them and brighten the days of some people who live in a really nice place. All right, next. Um, this is a serious one. So I just want you to know that the coronavirus, COVID-19 has affected our collegiate community in very, very important and sad ways. And I remember that before we left for distance learning, you know, people, everybody, you know, we weren't taking it very seriously yet because most people didn't know what was going to happen. And so people were kind of joking about it or talking about masks and all that stuff. And oh, we'll, we'll be back in a couple of weeks. This isn't a big deal. But of course, it has turned into a very big deal. And some of our members of the collegiate community have experienced loss because of this. So I am asking you to not make light of the situation or joke about it um, with peers or make comments in class with teachers because you never know whose lives have been permanently touched by this um, in a pretty sad way. So please be respectful of everyone in all your classes, your teachers, and please be thinking of everybody who's been affected by this. So thank you for that. You're just gonna have to watch this. Your head of middle school has gotten a little rowdy recently and she wants to show you what she's been up to. Ms. Riker, take it away. Good morning, middle school. Do you miss swiping into the building? I miss swiping into the building, so I'm gonna do that right now. 
I hope I get the satisfying click and I'm in. Now that I'm in though, it is dark. But I think I could find my way to my office even if it were totally pitch black. Now that I'm in the building and I'm in my office, maybe I should check on a few things around here. First things first, air freshener still working in Ms. Pino's office. So now I'm in Ms. Edelin's office, making sure everything's okay in here, everything seems fine. But I wonder if the, I wonder if the stuffed animals are lonely. Maybe I should, I don't know, maybe I should just kinda hang out in here for a while, check on everybody. Make sure everybody's okay. While I'm here, maybe I should uh, check out a few few lockers just to see what we're dealing with. Oh no! Ah. Oh good lord! Okay, so the locker situation totally scary. I'm not sure if I'm gonna recover from that today. So. Maybe instead I can relax in this beautifully clean speed commons. I mean, I never get to lie down on the couches. Oh, I think I'm just gonna just rest a little bit. I'm up here in the French room um, and I'm also checking on the plant. Planty, here's Planty. I think Planty likes the fact that nobody's here. This plant seems to be thriving, even though it's only getting watered like every two weeks. So anyway, plant's still here, field's still here. I wonder, I wonder if I could build a zip line from, hmm, from the French room to the playground. That might be possible. You heard that too, right? I heard zip line, French room, playground, out of the mouth of the middle school head of school so I think it's like a law that it has to happen especially because this is like on YouTube and stuff now so I think it's some kind of law great can't wait for that Miss Riker awesome thanks for letting us into your secret escapades of the middle school building when we're not with you we're glad you're looking after everything for us and we will get to those lockers won't we guys so let's talk about winding down we have a couple more weeks of school this has been hard, we've all been acknowledging that, but you cannot give up before the end. You can do this, I can do this, your parents can do this, we can all do this until the end. Memorial Day weekend will come, we don't have a school on that Monday, Tuesday we will have some things, Wednesday we will have, uh, I think, a video in the morning to watch, and, and then we'll be done, but don't give up until then. This is winding down time, we're going to have some more social Zooms in each grade to kind of close out the year together. But don't give up. Wind down, but don't give up. So thank you very much for watching. I hope everyone has a wonderful Thursday. And happy birthday, Meg. I hope you like your present, which is this video.